僕たちの物語を。If Chozo came back to his room and found his girlfriend fast asleep on his bed, he'd feel both flustered and incredibly drawn to her. The soft vulnerability of her resting form would be almost too much for him, but his protective and respectful nature would kick in, reminding him to control his desires and let her sleep peacefully. Still, Chozo wouldn't be able to keep his eyes off her, caught. Between his feelings and his sense of restraint, Chozo walks into his room, surprised to find you asleep on his bed, your form relaxed and peaceful. He freezes, his breath catching as he takes in the sight, his heart racing. You look so cute and biteable. This is the first time you ever sleep on his bed. It sparks desires in Chozo, knowing you are on his bed now, belongs to him, and not other man. He can't help himself from sitting gently on the edge. He watches your face, admiring your soft expression, feeling a deep warmth bloom in his chest. His hand hovers near yours, but he pulls it back, clenching his fist as he struggles with the urge to touch you. Chozo kisses your forehead, cheeks and nose. He makes sure he will not kiss you on the lips, or else he will lose control. If Anumaki walked into his room to find his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd be surprised and definitely flustered. His feelings would range from deep affection to bashful excitement, but he'd be careful not to disturb her. Using his limited speech, He'd quietly try to manage his emotions, appreciating the moment in his own soft, gentle way. Inumaki steps into his room, stopping short when he sees you asleep on his bed, curled up and breathing softly. His eyes widen slightly, and he feels his cheeks heat up as he processes the sight. He lets out a small, almost inaudible salmon, and bites his lip to keep his emotions in check. He sits beside you slowly, to make sure you are not awake. His instinct tells him to shower you with kisses, make you awake and just cause butterflies in you. As well. Inumaki plays with your hair instead. He smiles, noticing how you still sleeping. He decided to give a small kiss to your ear. Yes. He just whispered that word using his own voice without the energy ingredients. He can't help himself. Seeing you all cute and sleepy on his bed makes him feel possessive. He ended up whispering love words using curse speech. Inumaki ended up curling himself next to you. He wants to wrap his arm around you, but shy, so he let the sound of your breath become his lullaby. If Nanami found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd feel a surge of tenderness and protectiveness. Though he's usually serious and composed, seeing her there would soften him immediately. He'd approach the situation with gentle care, not wanting to disturb her and would quietly enjoy the rare, intimate moment, keeping his desires at bay out of respect for her. Nanami just returned home from his work. He received a message from you that you wait for him at his apartment. Nanami feels anxious. Where is you? He wants to see you. He miss you. He wants to forget about his work and cuddles with you. He approaches. Approaches the bed slowly, reaching out but stopping just short of brushing your hair back, holding himself back with a quiet chuckle. Instead, he sits in a nearby chair, watching you. 
peacefully, an undeniable warmth in his gaze. Madly in love, he admire your sleeping faces. From your eyes, down to your nose and your sexy lips, he feels like he wants to just pin you down and shower you with kisses. He slowly approaching you, he can't help himself to rub your cheek, and finally he crashes his lips onto your face. If Toji walked into his room to find his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd feel a mix of surprise and temptation. His natural confidence would be tempered by a quiet, protective side that emerges only for her. Though he'd be tempted to wake her, his soft spot for her would ultimately make him let her rest, appreciating her presence with a gentleness that's rare for him. Toji opened the door of his rent you apartment room. He found you fallen asleep on his bed. He walks over, crouching beside the bed and reaching out to tuck a loose strand of hair behind your ear. His hand lingers, his usual cocky expression replaced by something softer. He hovers there, his eyes tracing your face, fighting the urge to pull you close. Toji chuckles, and planted soft kisses for it. Toji slowly lands himself next to you. He slowly put his hand on your belly. Toji kiss your belly with so much love before he admiring your sleepy face all night. If Tsukuna found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, his reaction would be a mix of intrigue, possessiveness, and amusement. He's not the type to hold back his desires, yet he'd find himself oddly softened by the sight of her sleeping so peacefully in his space. Tsukuna enters his room, coming to an abrupt halt when he spots you asleep on his bed. His eyes narrow, a wicked smirk forming as he strides over, folding his arms as he stares down at you. He slowly approaching your sleeping figure. Damn, you are so addictive in his eyes. He really wants to wake you up and make love with you straight away. He smirks as he pat your head and kisses softly on your ear. He just wants to tease you even in your sleep. His hand almost reaching your thigh, but then he pulls it back. Tsukuna then sits on his throne, watching you sleeping from there. But, his mind imagining things that he wanted to do so badly to you. So yeah, something amazing awaits you when you wake up from slumber in Tsukuna's domain. If Yuta found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd be caught between flustered nervousness and overwhelming tenderness. His naturally shy and caring personality would kick in, making him handle the situation delicately. He'd admire her peacefulness while doing his best to control his thoughts and respect her space. Yuta walks into his room, stopping in his tracks when he sees you curled up on his bed. His face immediately flushes, and he awkwardly scratches the back of his neck unsure of what to do. He kneels beside the bed, his eyes softening as he looks at your peaceful expression. His lips curve into a small, affectionate smile. Yuta is in love. He tucked your hair behind your ear, planting a kiss on your forehead. 
He really wants to sleep beside you, but the bed is small, enough. For one person only. Yuta then shakes his head in embarrassment. He starts to think something spicy in his mind. And after debating with himself, Yuta ended up falling asleep beside the bed, with his head resting on the mattress. If Megumi found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd be taken aback but ultimately try to act as composed as possible. While he'd feel flustered, his protective and caring instincts would take over. He'd quietly make sure she was comfortable and stay nearby, trying to hide the small smile creeping onto his face. Megumi steps into his room and freezes when he sees you sleeping on his bed. He furrows his bro, glancing between you and the door as if trying to process the situation. Letting out a quiet sigh, he shuts the door softly and walks over. He kneels by the bed, reaching out to pull the blanket up over you. His hand hesitates for a moment before brushing a stray strand of hair from your face. His lips press into a thin line as he fights off a blush. As he tucked you in, Megumi wants to rub your cheek with his fingers, but afraid it might wake you up. So he decided to. If Yuji found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd be a mix of surprised, flustered, and absolutely delighted. His natural warmth and enthusiasm would shine through, though he'd be careful not to wake her. While tempted to cuddle up beside her, he'd ultimately just smile to himself and make sure she was comfortable, his heart racing the whole time. Yuji walks into his room, stopping dead in his tracks when he sees you sprawled out on his bed. His eyes widen. And his face turns red as he freezes in place. He tiptoes closer, leaning down to get a better look at your peaceful expression. A wide smile spreads across his face, and he rubs the back of his neck, trying to calm himself down. Yuji covered your body with the blanket. He rub your arms, and kiss you quick on the cheek. But then he, realized. He tried to leave, but then he can't control his emotions. He ended up kissing your forehead, your cheeks, and your lips quick. Yuji pat your head and smile. He then closed the door behind. If Gito found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, he'd be calm and collected, but a soft, affectionate smile would tug at his lips. He'd quietly savor the moment, admiring her before carefully making her more comfortable and staying close. Gito steps into his room and immediately notices you asleep on his bed. His usual sly smirk softens into a genuine, warm smile as he closes the door behind him. Without a sound. Gito kneel down to your level. He ruffle your hair a bit, brushing his finger on your lips. Oh how he wish he can devour that lips now.
Gito squeezed your arm lightly, gentle not to wake you up. He ended up whispering love words to you instead. Gito then look around the room and smile. Gito ended up sleeping on a chair beside you. He is not cruel enough to wake you up and tell you to move aside. He just doesn't want to interrupt your peace. If Gojo found his girlfriend asleep on his bed, his reaction would be a mix of playful amusement and overwhelming affection. He'd be tempted to tease her, but seeing her so peaceful would tug at his softer side. Still, he wouldn't be able to resist making a cheeky comment or two before settling in to stay close to her. Gojo walks into his room, humming to himself, only to stop in his tracks when he sees you curled up asleep on his bed. His lips immediately curl into a smirk, and he tilts his head as if inspecting you. He leans down slightly, resting his chin on his hand as he studies your face with a rare softness in his expression. A mischievous glint flashes in his eyes as he gently pokes your cheek with a finger. When you don't stir, he straightens up, pulling a blanket over you with surprising care. Sitting down next to you, he props himself up on one elbow, watching you with a fond smile. He stretches out beside you, careful not to disturb you, and lays on his back with his arms behind his head. A satisfied grin spreads across his face as he glances at you again. <laughs>